This segment is sponsored by KidMed Pediatric Urgent Care. The doctor is in and you have questions. With warmer weather on the way, many kids will be participating in summer sports and activities. Dr. Mark Flanzenbaum and Dr. Jeff Bennett, co-founders of KidMed Pediatric Urgent Care, join us in studio to share more about KidMed and how they're well equipped to treat sports-related injuries. It is awesome to see both of you. Good to see you, Jessica. It is getting to be that time of year. Of course, we've all been a little out of pattern for so long, but we have a couple questions in terms of KidMed Pediatric Urgent Care. Jeff, let's talk through the benefits of taking your, your child with a sports injury to a pediatric urgent care. Why do that? Well, you, you really always want, as a parent, want what's best for your child. So you want to go to places that have the most experience, expertise, and knowledge. And when it comes to your kid's health, there's really only three choices for, uh, for kids, especially when it comes to Ill injury and illness. You want to go to your pediatrician, a pediatric urgent care, or a pediatric emergency room. And we have a wealth of great pediatricians in the area, but for injuries specifically, you really need an x-ray availability to fully, um, to fully evaluate um, injuries. And you also need the ability to immobilize those injuries once you know that there's a fracture. So at KidMed, we have the um, availability for both of those things on site. And um, we, we really um, are good at um, making the kids feel comfortable. We can cast them if need be, especially with this new technology called Exos Casting. And it's really amazing stuff. My old cast, when I had one, I, it was nasty underneath there. This, you can take it off. You can wash the extremity, bathe, shower, put it back on. And for stable fractures, you can wear it when you play sports. And the other nice thing um, about it is that it's protective for the athlete, but it's also soft on the outside and protects the other athletes, and it can get wet. It's a whole new world. Mark, let's talk about it with pediatric injuries they're different but what's different it, kids their their bones and their joints are not at all like adults you know, we always think of a broken bone in adult as a snapped bone in kids especially young kids they oftentimes from a very low level fall or just tripping and falling they can get what we call buckle fractures where the bone basically kinks a little bit like if you took a wet twig and you just bent it a little bit um, and that can typically happen in the wrist or in the lower leg um, and you know, those are challenging cases for parents because when their kid gets injured with those, sometimes they don't have a lot of pain. Sometimes they don't have any swelling or bruising. So we have to be a, a, aware of those. And that's why we do recommend x-rays for all those injuries. Uh, teens represent a different challenge for us because teenagers have growing pains. If any parent out there knows their child, they've had growing pains, especially if they're an athlete. We typically see it in the knee or behind the ankle in the region of the heel. And it comes on with repetitive activity. So of course, a lot of parents think my child got injured doing sports, but it's really just an area where the growth plate hasn't closed yet and there's just stress on that growth plate. For, for teenagers, one of the unique problems is they can come in with hip pain that are just age-related problems due to activity as well or, or fluid in the hip joint in young kids following something as simple as a viral illness. Um, probably the most common thing we see, though, in kids is something that's referred to as a nursemaid's elbow. That's sort of given the misnomer of a, a, a dislocation. Adults have a hinge joint for an elbow. Kids don't. Their upper and lower arms are close to each other, but they're not in a, in a joint uh, a hinge position. They have ligaments, sort of like rubber bands, holding them together. And if a pulling injury, if a parent's holding their child, they can actually pop out the bone from underneath that rubber band. And what's nice is that it's a simple fix. When we see those kids come in uncomfortable, they leave smiling and happy. The moral of the story there, kids are different. Kids are and this different. is a different type of an approach. We have about 30 seconds left, but I do want to be clear. Pediatric urgent care. Jeff, when is it time to go into the ER? Um, in my 30 years of experience in both doing peds and adult ER, as well as um, peds urgent care, there is two specific fractures. If there's an open fracture, meaning bone is sticking through the skin, really awful, or if there is a really very angulated um, fracture where the bone is bent where a bend should not be, those need to go to the emergency room. But the vast majority of uh, fractures do not need to go to the emergency room. It's uh, the cost of going to the emergency room is exorbitant. The wait uh, times are longer. Um, it's a scary place for the kids um, as well as for some adults too, so it's really a good idea. Um, Kid Med has the ability and the uh, knowledge and equipment to take care of little growing bones, and we're very um, we have very good working relationship with the local pediatric orthopedists, and we can get them in usually the next business day if we need to. The most important thing I have to say is that 
please don't panic when your kid gets injured. It's important to go to the most appropriate place for that age group. So drive the extra mile to get the most appropriate care. Having a conversation like this and sharing this kind of insight does provide that peace of mind. Thank you both so much for being back with us. Thanks for I having appreciate us. It. We're going to share a little information. KidMed Pediatric Urgent Care, you'll find an office at 8356 Bell Creek Road in Mechanicsville. For all the information, you can call the team 804-559-5437. Visit the website kidmedva.com. Connect on Facebook at facebook.com slash kidmed and on Instagram at Instagram dot com slash kidmed underscore urgent underscore care. They have multiple locations right here in the community, so find the best one for you. Please stay with us. Virginia This Morning returns right after this.